Swings the leg through, and we are underway here in Blacksburg as Jalen Javon Quillen will take it out from his own end zone and will return it out for the equivalent of nearly a touchback. He goes out to the 24-yard line, breaking loss at Georgia Tech last Saturday afternoon. Jackson, quick throw, finds Eric Kuma, stretching for the first down marker, and he's got it just past the 35-yard line. First down for Georgia Tech. And Jackson on second and 10, the quick handoff to Jalen Holston, spinning past defenders, has a first down and more. Goes down to the 49-yard line of Hokies territory, tackled by Dennis Briggs, a gain of 14. The true freshman here on play action here, doesn't waste any time, he's a north-south runner here. Winning track here on senior day, it's now third down and three yards to go, and Jackson finds a wide open Cam Cunningham, the backup tight end. Breaking tackles, one man to beat, and Jordan Whitehead takes him down inside the 10, down to the eight yard line, a gain of 37 yards. They play a lot of man to man, but this is what you get when you get a busted coverage. Somebody's supposed to have that guy man to man, as you can see, chasing him downfield. Second down and goal from the four. Jackson going to keep it himself. He'll walk into the end zone. Touchdown. Josh Jackson, a four-yard touchdown scamper. And for Josh Jackson, that's his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. These seniors love him. He sees the read there. He's got a blocker there. Why not take it in for the score there? He says, hey, how about that, seniors? Very, very vocal and making all the plays. Third down and eight yards to go. Danucci, wobbly throw, incomplete, looking for Jester Wea, his wide receiver. To get Josh Jackson to the ground if they want to make an impact. Third down and three, Jackson going to the sideline. That's way out of bounds, and incomplete, looking for Sean Savoy. Coverage by Avante Maddox. Danucci, might have been a broken play. Throws to the running back out of the backfield, Darren Hall. He runs the football. He catches the football. He has enough for the first down. Forced out by Luke Reynolds of Virginia Tech. Hall again. This time tries the right side. Nowhere to go. He slips and falls down. Tackle for a loss in the play by Luke Reynolds, number six of Virginia Tech. A loss of two. Reynolds playing here at the free safety position away from his whip. Danucci over the middle, wide open, Maurice French has the first down. He's inside the 30 and goes down to the 29-yard line. Give him a little bit of time, take your time. Don't overplay, just take what the defense gives you. He sees the open guy up in the middle on the drag route there on French and does a great job moving the chains. This is what fit, this is what they want to do. Of course, tough environment to play in. This season, second down and four. Quick handoff to Darren Hall again. He lowers that shoulder, has the first down. He's past the 20 inside of the 19, tackled by Andrew Matua-Pawaka for Virginia Tech. Now you see they line it up pretty quick. They don't want Bud Foster's defense to get lined up. Now to the left side, Arujo lopes again, spinning off one defender and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Rafael Arujo lopes with his second touchdown reception of the season, 13 yards out. To be able to finish on a great note, and of course, Quick passes here. Two passes back to back to Arujo Lopes. And Lopes is the best route running receiver on this team. Jackson finds a wide open Phil Patterson, has the first down, and is forced out of bounds by Avante Maddox, number 14 for Pittsburgh. Another hokey first down. And coverage that you know you're going to get against this Pitt defense here. Again, gets a little pressure, but gets rid of the football. Makes a good play there on Patterson. Blitz these linebackers. Jackson, here, here comes the pressure, and down he goes. He's sacked by Sean Idowu for the Panthers. That's his third sack of the season. We just talked about him being the top blitzer for this pit defense, and he's got a blocker, but he defeats the blocker and makes the play on the big sack. On second down, Danucci. The play fake. Pulls a Houdini, runs out of it, and he's going to go long. Dangerous. Looking for Oderson, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Reggie Floyd for the Virginia Tech Hokies. That's his third interception of the season. Tech is three for five on third down 
conversion plays in this first quarter so far. Jackson quick slant over the middle, caught by Eric Kuma. And Kuma has enough for the Hokie first down to the 45. A lot of good tackling so far. And on third downs today, Josh Jackson, four of five for 69 yards and completes another one on third down. He's now five for six passing on third down conversion attempts. Eric Kuma, the catch, tackled by Dane Jackson. On offense on some jet sweeps. He's on defense right now, primarily a defensive player. They fake the handoff wide open. Jackson finds Cam Phillips again. He has another first down inside the 25 down to the 22 yard line. Who are they gonna pass it to? Camas and Jackson keeps it himself fighting for yardage he comes up short he'll be closer than I thought he's maybe yep. a yard shy Brian Johnson on for the 30 yard field goal try from the right hash it's right through there and the kick is good with 11 15 to go in the second quarter number 10 rated pro style quarterback by 24-7 sports as he hands off to Darren Hall, and Hall goes nowhere. Didn't have a Hall pass on that one, Ronaldo. He gets double teamed and tackled. First man there, Andrew Matua Pawaka, number 25, here with Virginia Tech Athletics. Third down and seven. Pick it to the sideline. Jester, we uh, no, can't make the grab. It's incomplete. Backfield. Jackson feels the pressure, has to unload, and it's incomplete. Looking for Cam Phillips over the middle. The play fake to Hall and Pickett finds a wide open Rafael Arujo Lopes. He has the first down as he crosses the midfield stripe and goes down to the 49 yard line. Arujo Lopes talked about him being one of the top route runners, but very impressed by the young guy, Kenny Pickett, there, setting his feet to the open wide. Four receivers for Pickett to work with on third down and long, and Pickett has to scramble. Being chased by Tim Settle, and Pickett stumbles and falls down, goes out of bounds first at the 48-yard line, brings up fourth down and seven. He's five for nine on third down plays today. It's third down and nine yards to go. Jackson slings it to Cam Phillips, and Phillips near the first down marker. In fact, he's passed it. He has the first down for Virginia Tech, a gain of 11. Great job of knowing exactly where he needs to end up, right in that pocket of defenders there, giving us do both as a defensive end. Play fake to Holston. Jackson going long, and it's oh. intercepted by Avante Maddox, the left corner for Pitt. That's his second interception of the season. Henderson in motion. They give to Henderson on the jet sweep. Has a first down and more inside the 30. And following blockers inside the 25, down to the 21-yard line. Another big game for Pitt. It's first down. And put the ball in your best playmaker's hands, and that's Quadri Henderson. Believe it or not, has not had a touchdown. Third and short. And the give to Jordan Whitehead, the defensive player who sometimes plays on offense, and he is tackled for a loss in the play. The tackle for Virginia Tech. Yeah, Tremaine Edwards just shoots the gap right here. Snap and hold are good, but the kick is wide to the right. He pushed it wide, and it's no good. Two timeouts remaining for Tech, one remaining for Pitt, third down and 10. Jalen Holston fighting for yardage and has a first down for Virginia Tech on third and 10. He got 11, they stop the clock momentarily, then they'll move the chains. Jackson, the draw to Jalen Holston goes nowhere as Amir Watts, number 34, also James Fulston there. Been going to all day, but don't forget Quadri Henderson. Pickett finds his tight end, Chris Clark, and Clark gains 10, actually 11, down to the 41 yard line. Three man rush, extra nickel in the backfield. Pickett avoids the pressure. Still avoiding finding Darren Hall, but he's in bounds and the clock will run out because Pitt. Or does he have the first down? Yes, he has the first down. Virginia Tech with the lead. They give to Darren Hall, and he is smoked and taken down for a loss in the play today. It may be, but you still got to run the football. But here is a physical play. Tremaine Edmonds, Edmonds we've called him all day. But look at the line. Ooh, right there, the big fella, big fella settles there. 
The play fake to Hall, pick it, and they're pressuring, down he goes. Penalty flag comes flying in. He's sacked at the 29-yard line, taken down by Trevon Hill. Trevon Hill here getting in on the sack pressure. Linebackers, they're sending the house here. And Jackson, pressure coming, throws incomplete. Looking for Eric Kuma, his wide receiver. Avante Maddox on the coverage. 254-yard rushing game earlier this year at Duke. Quiet running the football today for Darren Hall as Pickett is taken down and sacked at the 20, look at the 30-yard line. Andrew Matua Pawaka. Pickett, good protection. Over the middle, pass is caught by Maurice French, and depending on the spot, he just might have the first down. He's going to be close. He'll be moving the sticks. First and ten, Darren Hall goes nowhere. Loss of two yards in the play. Reggie Floyd, the strong safety on the tackle for Virginia Tech. And doing a pretty good job in managing the football game. Third and eight. Pickett. Hit as he throws, and he finds Jester Rehab at well shy of the first down marker. Goes down to the 47. Virginia. Keeping it close there in Miami. With a tie game down in South Beach. Jackson, quick throw, finds Phil Patterson, his backup wide receiver, and he has the first down past the 30. You make the tackle, they got to make the play. McLeese again, back-to-back, -back. nice runs by McLeese. He has enough for the first down and more for Virginia Tech. Peak Virginia, just a redshirt sophomore. They fake the carry to him, and Jackson keeps it himself. And he is close to the first down marker. In fact, he's right at it at the 46. Gain of 10, first down. The give to McLeese. Now he has the first down. He's at the 45, a game of one. Third and 10, Jackson escapes. Slings it, passes cut right at the first down marker by Cam Phillips. Jackson feels the pressure. Ado, Ado Wu comes in on that pressure there, but again, is able to set his Quick throw, pass is caught. James Clark upended. Backup wide receiver goes down short of the line to gain. Jordan Whitehead, the strong safety, come out on Tuesday. Yep. Quick snap on fourth down and three. Jackson throwing, pass broken up and incomplete. Dennis Briggs getting a hand in there, wow. knocking it away from Cam Phillips. So Clemson, Miami will play for the ACC title game in a couple of weeks. In Charlotte, little shovel pass from Pickett to Darren Hall, and Darren Hall breaking tackles and finally taken down at the 30-yard line. Darren Hall tackled by Reggie Floyd, a shovel pass, play of the day. Yeah, Coach Cochran, the D coordinator in the booth as well. He's seeing a lot of aggressive play, guys getting upfield, and great call, shuffle pass. 44-yard completion on the shovel pass from Pickett to Darren Hall, and now on first down, Pickett again. Throws, finds Quadri Olison. And Olison has enough for the first down in the last three contests for Pitt. Defense getting the crowd noise into it. Third and eight. Pickett incomplete. I want to see if they can line up. Razzle dazzle, reverse play, throws into the end zone, passes. Caught, touchdown, Pittsburgh. Pass is caught by Nathan Bossery, the tight end. Well, Nathan, who hasn't seen too much time but in the extra point lineup here, makes the most out of it, bobbles it, but comes down with a huge play on this trick play for Pitt. Game today, down four, 14-10. Less than a minute gone by in the fourth quarter. From the 25, first and 10, Josh Jackson taken down for a loss. Dwayne Hendricks, the defensive end, number eight. Loss of one, second down, 11. The fake, the throw, and the pass is caught by Cam Phillips. Phillips racing down the sideline and goes out of bounds inside the 50. Look at Savoy putting the hand up and saying, hey, you can't stick me the whole time. And this is what we talked about, the one-on-ones here, and he makes the most out of it here in the right corner. You got to go for it no matter what, even if you don't get it on third down. 
to fake the sweep to Cam Phillips, and Jackson takes it himself. Needed one, got more than that. He's down to the 26-yard line. First down, Hokies. Season has one touchdown pass as well. Hand off to McLeese. McLeese, first down. Inside the 15 and goes down to the 12-yard line. First down for Virginia Tech. And some trips receivers on that right side of the formation. Fade pattern into the end zone. Pass deflected and out of bounds. Incomplete looking for Eric Kuma. Avante Maddox again. 27-yard attempt on the field goal try by Brian Johnson. It is up. It is good. And Tech pulls within one. Second and two. Hall. Up the middle. Forward progress. They'll give him... Forward progress to the 35-yard line. It's a first down. Formation up front for Pittsburgh. Pickett throws. Picked oh. off by Greg Stroman. Stroman inside past the 40. Still on his feet. Stroman down the sideline in pit territory and goes down to the 42-yard line. And for Greg Stroman, that's his fourth interception of the season. What this Hoagie defense, this Hoagie team needed. They needed a big play. We can kind of see the, the shift, the momentum there in terms of the atmosphere in the stadium. This stadium erupted when Stroman, who else? As we talked about, the fiercest competitor. This is what the coaches say, Brock. The fiercest competitor on this team is Stroman. Not a big guy, but plays again like a giant and makes a big play for this Hokie defense. They say he plays better than he is. He <laughs> right. plays bigger than he really is. Yes, and but met by number nine, Jordan Whitehead. And McLeese again just goes right up the middle, has the first down and a little bit more. Down to the 25. They'll move the chains. First and 10, Hokies. Yep. Jackson, same play, same pass. Cup touchdown, Cam Phillips into the end zone. And for Cam Phillips, that is his 17th career touchdown reception, seventh this season, and the all time reception yardage leader now at Virginia Tech. Cam Phillips comes up big for the touchdown play. The yardage is great, but you want the win first. Pitt, first and ten, Pickett. Play action, finds Maurice French. In attack. Second down, eight yards to go. Pickett has to eat it, and down he goes. Loss of two on the play, tackled by Trenane Edmonds. What a big play, but if you look in the middle there, look at the pressure there. Tim Saddles, he's almost getting strangled, putting pressure on the quarterback. Yards to go. Pickett avoids the sack. Throws on the run. Incomplete. In yardage record. Passing D'Angelo Hall of Virginia Tech. And there is Josh Jackson trying for the first down marker. And he might be a little bit short. So Tech punts it away. Henderson going way back at his own 16. Sheds a couple of tacklers and goes down at the 19-yard line. Pickett looking for Jester. We have batted away. Incomplete the right corner. Brandon facing in on the coverage for Virginia Tech. Pickett on second and ten. Jester, we know it's incomplete through his hands. He had a beat on third down, ten yards to go for Pitt. Pickett, all kinds of time. time. He's going to run it himself and forced out of bounds. Stops the clock. He's right at the 25-yard line. Brings up fourth down, five yard to go. Pitt keep the offense on the field. Pickett over the middle. Pass cut by Jester Wea. And he breaks oh. away from the defender. One man to beat, Reggie Floyd. And Floyd catches him at the one-yard line. Is it in the end zone or not? They say touchdown. They're going to have to review it, and we have some injured players on the field as well. Big play. Darren Hall tries to get in. He stopped at the one-yard line. Guess who meets him? Andrew Matua Pawaka. The give to Hall, and Hall stopped. 
at the two yard line. No timeouts remaining. Clock is ticking. 25 seconds remaining. Take the football in a hurry. They're not going to spike it. Pickett throws. In zone. Passes. Oh. Deflected and incomplete. Greg Stroman gets a hand in there. Knocks it away. Three seconds to go. In formation here. Hall. Second effort. No! The Hokies defense stops him. Reggie Floyd with a tackle, and the Hokies win it. Look at him. For the seniors. Unbelievable.